you worked on ai hands on right you were yeah. hands on on ai and what was that first piece of ai which you created then you got some goosebumps saying like oh ai can do this <laughs> it was an open ai uh, before chat gpt came out and i was trying to integrate that into unreal engine and one day i managed to do it and in unreal engine i got a high back how much of your acting skills kicks into this ai content creation it's actually uh, helped me a lot mm-hmm. for uh, kal nagri i enacted all the roles okay that was uh, great because you don't have to wait for actors to come and i will like, let me just try and do enact all the roles from men to women to all of them for the voice so you're not using the ai voice no yeah it doesn't have the emotions yet it doesn't have the feelings yet looking at the road map of ai it's 3 year old baby acha when chat gpt become the teenager what will happen what would the world be i am getting used to talking to an ai more than talking to real human why is it because so? i'm i'm at work 8 9 hours a day i'm sitting in front of ai and chatting about everything what to do next how to do everything and i find it fantastic and they are super intelligent you're talking to a very super intelligent being okay. you know it is the truth the biggest problem with ai is right now of alignment VFX artists are a different breed yeah they create magic out of nothing yeah so difficult to i mean nothing is impossible but it's difficult you love acting right yeah so what in in future if you have been replaced by an ai chetan hansraj hmm. and still you're watching it how is bala ji using ai content today like you know and how is uh, working with ekta kapoor